Well, we can see a little bit about a new virus and uh, a lot about the mind and the what I call this the, the, the system of fear in the mind. So we have maybe, you know, 20% a corona crisis and 80% we have a crisis which is um, empowered by the, what I call the system of fear. So the system of fear, uh, I wrote a book about fear, as you know, um, fear as an opponent on the inner path, actually on the path to reality. The system of fear is not only uh, a feeling or a certain phenomena, it's, it's a system, it's, it's a system which is veiled in uh, rational, by, by rational thoughts. It's, it's, a, it's a seemingly logical system, but it's empowered by unrealized fear of death. So if we only had a corona crisis, I don't think it would be very different to any other virus which is just traveling around the world, uh, forcing uh, organisms to deal with it and to uh, obtain immunity. Um, it is a very normal evolutionary pattern which we are watching. And it, it happens again and again that a new virus, which maybe was first with some animals, then uh, jumps on human beings and uh, <clears throat> takes this bridge. So every, we know this also from a medicinal standpoint, that every mm, inner um, battle with a new uh, virus or bacteria uh, can um, empower the the whole of the organism, you know. So there is this physical uh, level, but what is actually more interesting is the level of the mind. So how can people dive through the system of fear? So the rational thoughts are around, they, they kind of protect the inner core of fear. So they are like the periphery of the system of fear. So if someone is really interested to uh, find a reality beyond the system of fear, uh, there is no other way but diving through these seemingly rational thought systems, diving into the core where we find the pure feeling of fear, which is a very intense uh, and sensitive vibration, and then diving through this even deeper into the silent eye of fear. So this is an instruction for people of the inner path. So ordinary people cannot follow this instruction. They have to deal with the, the system of fear and, and, and maybe find a little of power of discrim discrimination. Uh, what is, you know, scientific facts and what is distorted scientific facts by the system of fear. So this f might be an instruction for the masses of people, um, but for the inner person, this is the deepest instruction 
to find the silent core through all these different layers of the system of fear. Well, there is always a chance for people if they meet death. You know, the chance is the conscious meeting and uh, it's, it's death on different levels that people meet. I mean, the measures of the nations in the world, they force people to meet death not only on a physical level, but also on, on a mental level. So this is always a chance, you know, but um, don't expect that masses of people will take this chance. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that in the outside world, governments or systems shouldn't react to the opponent. From the inner point of view, this is uh, an instruction for the inner person. Um, you should be able to uh, approach the opponent and let it into the system. This is a principle of the inner path, where people learn dealing with opponents on different levels. You know, the most powerful opponents are mental, not physical. Um, but on the outside level, I mean, when you look at governments and uh, medicinal systems, of course they should react. But it seems that the, you know, the medicinal data do not confirm these uh, measures which are um, disproportionate and not really in accordance with uh, the mm, knowledge on the uh, scientific level. Um, you know, we should much more concentrate on specifically endangered people you know, when people are like, like very old people or people who suffer uh, severe illness, these people are really endangered. And they, in this case, the, the organism cannot uh, follow, you know, this instruction I just gave for people of the inner path. In, in these cases, you, th it's necessary to keep the opponent on the physical level, to keep it in distance, you know, but the measurements uh, which are happening all over the world, they are absolutely undifferentiated and they close, for example, they close schools and kindergartens, uh, although um, the mm, experiences that, that, that we have made also with this virus um, show that, you know, children and very young people with a functioning immune system, they, they, they don't even uh, have symptoms, you know. This, this virus, we cannot keep this virus away. I mean, it has to travel around the world. And we, we, there is no way of keeping it away. We can just postpone it. You know, but this is obviously that people don't understand. So maybe 60% of the whole population of the world will, will have an infection and only very few will have obvious symptoms. So on the inner path, we have a completely different point of view when we compare this to the school medicine, you know. The school medicine is a reactive medicine. They just react um, when it's too late, simply said, you know. But on the inner path and on the path of power, uh, people learn how to uh, 
direct the attention, the inner system. So the inner system uh, is in, in an empowered state and in a balanced state. So that, yes, a virus can come, you know, and just work itself through without endangering the physical life of this person. It's only dangerous for a very few people, old people and very weak people. All the others, they should have the opportunity, they, well, they will have it finally, they should have the opportunity to, to work this through. It has to happen anyway. So all these you know, measures are just postponing it anyway. So I think this shows really a lack of intelligence and a form of stupidity, which is part of the, the system of fear. Face the fear in an inner state. Direct attention inwards. Face fear and dive with your attention. Dive into the core of fear. There you find silence. And from silence emanates equanimity. Equanimity is a virtue that we have to rediscover in our times, where people, where the whole collective mind in practically all Western cultures is trapped in the system of fear so that it seems normal to people, it's what people know, and the thinking processes in the mind are directed by this system, but it seems reasonable and logical to people, because fear is hidden. You know, fear, the core of fear is hidden in rational, thought systems. 